How y'all doing? More vlogs coming from Presidium's message to young black America. I have extremely important information for young black America to empower themselves in the 21st century without building a coalition with other races. I also have important information for young black males to empower themselves in the 21st century and to empower themselves over law enforcement legally and peacefully. Remember young black America, wake up. And when these people tell you that they're not against Obama because he's black, do not believe that. You know, not all white people and Hispanic people are bad and I have a lot of beautiful white and Hispanic friends. I just keep it real. But I was in Las Cruces, New Mexico, my hometown, and I was brought up to uh, respect my elders, but I just had to keep it real, you know, so I'm in Las Cruces, I'm at Wells Fargo Bank, and then, you know, Las Cruces, New Mexico is a retirement community, and I was looking around me, and there was nothing but old, wrinkle-faced white people and Hispanics, messed up looking, I mean, let's just keep it real, like they say, black don't crack. And it dawned on me, one of the reasons why white people, some white people and some Hispanics are so racist because they can't stand the way they look. It's always been rumored in the African American community that a lot of white people's racism is jealousy because they feel like we're inferior to them or whatever. And that fuels a lot of their jealousy. And I'm thinking, man... A lot of white people and a lot of Hispanics do not age well. And if I looked as messed up as a lot of them, I probably hate black people too. And to see a, a handsome black man in the White House with a beautiful black wife and beautiful black children, and we don't have no old wrinkle-faced white boy president, that is really pissing a lot of people off, whether they want to admit it or not. And remember, young black America, the reason why this is extremely important for you to know is because you did not make them. It's not your fault they look messed up. And that's why you need to unite. Because when they look in the mirror, they don't like what they see. And they talk that mess that, you know, they don't like Obama because he's not doing his job. We a lot better off now than we were when Bush was president. You know what I'm saying? People forgotten that Bush is the reason why we're in this predicament. And if any man, I don't care what race he is or what political affiliation he's with, says, I'm trying to give low-income people adequate health care and give low-income people a chance to get health care even if they have pre-existing conditions, you would think that people were as intelligent as they claim in this country, they should be flocking to Barack Obama. You know what I'm saying? We already know that Mitt Romney is a f ramen noodle. Mitt ramen noodle is a flip-flopper. You know, that's why Obama showed up at the debate, um, you know, not inter uninterested, because he's like, the American people are smart enough to know, dude, that you're going to just change your policy. But when Bush, when we found out that we there were no weapons of mass destruction in Iraq when uh, Nazi Bush was president. I figured, okay, American people can't be dumb enough to let this dude get reelected, and they did. And so, just like when while Obama has been president, while Obama's been president, the Republicans and a lot of races want to see Obama fail. Even if it means this country fail, they want to see Obama fail. Well, now, if Mitt Romney Noodle becomes president, it's going to be reversed. We want to see him fail. We want to see him go to war with Iran or Iraq. We want to see him continue to outsource jobs for this country, sending jobs overseas. We want to see Mitt Romney Noodle destroy this country like Bush then maybe y'all will wake up. More vlogs coming from Presidium's message to young black America. If you're over 20, I could care less what you think about my vlogs. Thank you and God bless.